Yo, 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 what up, the world? It's your man's Uncle P, and you're live here on Detroit Rap Live. I believe it's 829, so it's close enough to 830. Let me bring my co-host in the building with me. I got my bro- brother, Pat, 313. What up, though? What up, though, P? What up, though, everybody? How you feeling? You all right? Yeah, I'm good, baby. How about you? <laughs> I'm good. I'm good. I'm good. You a little chill now, bro. What's up with that? Yeah, the edible's kicking my ass, man. <laughs> <laughs> Here we go. Commission, what up, though? Yo, what up, though? What's good, everybody? Welcome to Detroit Rap Live. How you doing, Pete? Man, this is what's up, bro. So, um, man, I'm glad this is all coming together, man. Thank you both for uh, coming on live with us, bro. It's a journey. 2023 already. Yep. I'm excited. Let's go. That's what's up. Um, Kilo will be with us shortly, brother handling his business. So um, he's going to have to tap in a little bit later. But basically what this Detroit Live is about to be, is pretty much a recap of what's going on on the website on a weekly basis. You know, everybody will be talking about some of their favorite stories that uh, took place to the week. And this is just to uh, give you a live element of what you're dealing with when you're dealing with the DRAP staff, give you an idea of everybody's personality, what they into and whatnot. Um, You'll get to know all of us a little bit better. But, um, you know, we're going to talk about events. We'll be getting into interviews in the very near future. We got a few technical difficulties. We're going to have to work around with some of the audio, but that's going to be a work in progress. So this first episode may be a little bit shaky as far as the audio. Um, Please be patient with us. We got a big production here we're trying to pull off, and we definitely going to get it right. Um, i like to thank everybody for tuning in now and who's going to be tuning into the live recording. I'm excited about doing this. Um, Fellas, man, anything y'all got to say? I'm, I'm excited. I mean, we got the new design. We've got the brand new site. Uh, Pat, Uncle P, uh, Kilogram, you know, the whole team. We've been sharing the content, all kinds of great stuff coming out there. And I'm excited just to get back at it and uh, share a lot of talented artists. There's so many talented artists in the city and uh, nearby areas. So I'm just excited to shine some light, light on a few of them. Yep. That's what's up. Pat, what about you, bro? Yeah, I'm excited too, man. Um, we've been doing this for almost 20 years, or at least you have me, and you know, we're gonna do our best to cover all the dope hip hop and rap and R and B and street shit. And yeah, man, I'm excited. Yeah, one one thing that uh we gotta make sure people understand is we're not here for just one side of what makes up Detroit music. You know, we here for the streets just as much as we here for the uh, hip hop heads, you know, the people that's into the lyrics, as well as the folks that, you know, just want to hear some of that, that street stuff, that street talk, you know, that that life they be living out there. So we we plan on covering and shining light on it all. You know, it's no bias over here. You just got to be dope at what you do. Um, 
you know um we we know what's good music and we know what has a fan base so even if you think oh uncle p ain't gonna like this i'm a dj so i know what move crowd i see what move crowds all that good stuff you know but we about to get into the site a little bit now i gotta give it up to commission for putting his uh work in on the design elements um anything you want to say about you know what went into the new design and what we got here oh yeah i mean i just my the whole concept i wanted it to be just more straight content driven just you hit you hit detroitrap.com and right off the bat you're going to be hit with you know some recent you know heat that that's come out like you said whether it's street whether it's lyrical you know we're gonna we're gonna cater to all the different styles out there Uh, if you're dope you're dope and we're gonna post it um, but you know, I just wanted to kind of simple it, simplify it from what it previously looked like, tone it down a little bit, but still look fresh, look clean and, and give you a lot of content to choose from right in your face. Word, word, word. Um, let's talk about it. Uh, let's talk about the content and submission part of it. Um, we got that right over here, you know, right to the right of features, submit content, um what is it about this let people know real quick um yeah so the cool thing those who this, don't like to read right yeah no I'll, I'll let you in real quick it's just a really quick simple form uh that lets you give us all the you know information we're going to need to get you a quality post so a couple two to three high-res photos you know your artist name or organization name whatever uh you go by um you know a couple links to your your content that you want us to share and then uh, the nice thing, too, is you can upload your photos right to the post. Uh, it goes directly to our submissions email, which all of us have access to. Um, make sure to include a little bit of information about what you go- you got going on, any of your social medias, ways that we can contact you. If you got a manager, you know, throw their name in there so they can get reaching out to them if they need to book you. Um, but it's a really just simple process, uh, way easier than it was on the previous uh, design. So, uh, you know. If, if you're an artist, if you're a local organization, clothing brand, you know, anything Detroit related and you think your content would fit, uh, shoot us a submission. You know, we're, we're all going to take a look at it and, uh, you know, no guarantee that everybody's going to be get, get it posted. But, you know, we're going to find the dope stuff that um, gets submitted and we're going to get it out there for you guys. And if we hit you with if we get it up there, we'll make sure to get tag you in it, get the links out to you so you can get out there and share and promote it. You know, we we're not doing this for you know, substantial amounts of money or anything, you know, it's out of the love, it's out of the passion, you know, all of us, I know Uncle P, Pat, um, Kilo, you know, we've been doing this for a long time out of the passion and the love for the culture and the hip hop. So uh, we, we if, if we're putting it out there for you, you know, we just ask that you share it, get it out there as well. And, uh, you know, that's, that's, that's what it is. And please use the, the submission page and don't DM us links and don't like send us your whole video in like an MP4. <laughs> <laughs> right. Yeah. Um, Pat, any other things you can think about talking about the site and everything? Um, no, I think Joe pretty much hit it all. Uh, you know, just please use the submission page and all we really do is ask, you know, just share it, you know, on all your social medias, please. That's it. That's what's up. All right, um, these segments, you know, not going to be long. This ain't no long two-hour talk. Um, It may be at times, you know, depending on who we get on here to have interviews with, you know, as everything moves on, you know, as the community builds and and people are participating in the chats and stuff. Um, We'll probably do, do some other random things like producers pop in, Make a beat for us on the fly. Some, hey, maybe even have a, a cipher or something like that. Um, I'm down for just about anything if it makes sense, you know. And I know that know the squad is too. But um, right now, what we're gonna do is we're gonna go ahead and get into some of the um, highlights of the site. I'm gonna start with my man Pat three one three, bro. What's um, where you wanna um, start at? Well, first I wanted to start with uh, Maya Maya Moreau. I hope I said that right, Maya. She dropped a new video and joint. Um, it's called Risk. And, uh, you know, Detroit music scene runs deep as far as MCs, producers, singers, everything. And um, I'm really getting tapped into the R&B scene right now and, like, all the singers and songwriters and stuff. And uh, my man, Nick Varsity, uh, shout out to Nick Varsity. He put me up on all kinds of people, man. 
she was the first one that I seen. So I don't know if you want to play some of the joint first. The galaxy explodes when you touch me, I feel you fall. You in my veins, you know. But feel everything at once. You give me high, you give me high. I might risk it all. I feel you in my veins, you know. But feel everything. That's some hot music right there, man. I'm really feeling that. Um, so I. I, I believe you had a discussion with her. Oh uh, uh, yeah, man. Uh, just you know, when I heard that, it was like the whole vibe of the joint for me. You know what I'm saying? Um, I'm not trying to compare her to anybody, but it just reminded me of like some neo soul, like some Bobby shit over some neo soul shit. You know what I mean? And uh, the way they put the video together really nailed the the concept of the song. You know what I'm saying? She's basically talking about risking it all for the love of her life. You know what I mean? And uh, she's got a joint uh, album out she dropped in 2020. It's called Soul, uh, S-E-A-U-X-L. So go check that out. So I'm definitely looking forward to hearing more from her. Shout out to my Word, that, that, that was definitely banging right there. Um, I'm feeling that. That's that's a good gem. You know, and that's what we about here at DetroitRap.com, you know. We we know who all popping and who who getting it, but we trying to make sure we uh shine a little bit bit of light on everybody. So dope, man. Who else did you have coming down? Um, next I was gonna talk about DJ House Shoes um and Mike and Key's new project that's coming out. Um, shout out to DJ House Shoes, uh, Detroit legend, uh, Detroit hip hop ambassador. He's out in LA now. Um. He's got a label called Street Corner Music. This is his 10th year uh, into it. Um, you know, and his label is based off of uh, basically Street Corner Music out of Detroit where he used to work. You know what I'm saying? Um, anyways, House Shoes has put out 85 releases in, in almost 10 years. And uh, everything's crazy, man. And, and the way it works with Shoes is, you know, he's very particular about his music and you know, that kind of shit. You can't just send him your album and say, put my shit out. Like he makes you send like hundreds of joints. He literally goes through and handpicks them all and curates them all. But anyways, he's got a new project coming out with Mike and keys. Um, Mike and keys are from Los Angeles. Uh, they're producing songwriting duo. They duo. They used to be uh, the futuristics, I believe in uh, 2009, they landed a 50 cent joint. Um, they started producing for D12 and Royce the 5'9". <laughs> um, he ended up uh, landing uh, a bunch of early Nipsey Hustle stuff. And uh, they basically produced the whole Nipsey Hustle victory lap. You know what I'm saying? So they're super dope. Damn. And, uh, they're getting ready to announce the actual album. But the, the single they dropped is called uh, um, Long Time. So I want to get into that, P. I 
Yeah, that shit's crazy. So shout out to my big bro, How Shoes, man. Uh, Street Corner Music. I'll just Google that shit. Go to his website, buy the shit. Uh, look for the album announced pretty soon. It's called Formula One. Shout out to the OG House Shoes in the building. All right, bet. And um, I think we wrapping it up, man. You 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 got the legend legend bracket this episode, man. We um we see what you coming with here. Oh, uh, DJ Butter, B Boy Reg, uh, Funky Fresh in the Flesh podcast. Um, they just started a new podcast, uh, B Boy Reg, MC from HP, who came up back in the day with DJ Butter, uh, DJ Butter, legend, um, Detroit hip hop pioneer, uh, Detroit mixtape pioneer, um, along with DJ King David. Uh, shout out to King David Schoolcraft. Um, he was another one, you know. Um, DJ Butter was D12's first DJ in '99. Um, used to spin at the Latin Quarters, the Lush, all the legendary spots. Worked with over 200 Detroit artists. Worked with legends all over the world. You know what I'm saying? So, um, and on some real shit, DJ Butter was the first mixtape I ever bought. Like the Detroit hip hop mixtape I seen at Damon's Records on Plymouth back in 2000. Um, so yeah, they got a new uh, podcast. Um, they also have on their Instagram page a lot of rare footage from back in the day and. Uh, they said that one, Miss Corona, um, P Groove, um, Lamont Hayes, Jack Frost, DJ Los, uh, Mud, um, and they Dogmatic, um, all kinds of guys. And they talked about um, basically the history of Detroit hip hop and, uh, you know, all the good stories and all that shit. So shout out to DJ Butter, B Boy Reg. Make sure you go to their YouTube and subscribe to it. Follow them on Instagram. Check out all their interviews. I'm going to go ahead and run a little bit. Uh... Shout out to my sister, Miss Corona. And now I gotta pay somebody to watch my shoes. Right. Never heard of that in my life. I'm like, wait a minute. Now I'm thinking to myself, like, do I really want to go in here? Because it's hundreds of people that's rushing to try to get in get in this temple. Right. But you know what I'm saying? Like, out of respect, you have to take your shoes off. Right. And so I'm like, I'm about to give my shoes to a stranger. Wow. And, and have to pay this person to watch my shoes. How I don't get no ticket for right. them to know what, what, which, which shoe is mine. Right. You know what I'm saying? Like Skateland. Right. When you when you turn your shoes in. And so I was like, I'm looking like, man, like, do I really want to do this? But I, I just put out the material mm -hmm. out of my mind and was like, right. you are not going to be able to get this experience to walk into this holy temple right. again in life, maybe. Right. You know what I'm saying? Like, how many chances will you get? Like, right. like take this. This is your first opportunity because right. you never know if you're gonna be able to make it back over here. Like, you could you can go That's back home right. and buy another pair of, of foam runners. Right, right. So I was like, yo, okay. <laughs> I, I, so I gave the man my shoes, and the ground was so hot because it was like 115 wow. degrees out there. Right. And we walk through, and and you give a flowers or offering, and then they put the little thing on there, and they pray over you. And man, when I came home, it was like a sense of just like relaxation. Like usually, you would see people on the road, and it's like right. road rage. Yeah, y'all make sure y'all head over there and check out um, my man DJ Butter and them with uh, the Funky Fresh in the Flesh podcast. That's what's up. Good looking out, Pat. Yup. No doubt. Kilo, what up, though, Kilo? What up? I'm finally in. <laughs> What's happening? You done, you done got it geared up? What, what up, though? Yeah, I, I had everything laid out when I got to the crib. Like, I immediately stripped down, got ready, got in uniform, you know, destroy your things. When you're a micro brand influencer, you got to always be in uniform, you know what I'm saying? Pat wearing it, you see it? Yep. That's what's up. That's, That's what's up, man. Yo, I, I've been working with the... um. Other couple of guys you done seen on the screen for a few years. I know them new to myself and to the squad here is my man Kilo. And and I had to say that um, you know, real recognize, real grind, recognize grind. And um, 
we was taking notice to what Kilo was doing out here for the hip hop scene and representing for the um, era that he he's coming through. And, and that's what we're about over here at D-Rap. We, we want everybody to be represented. You know, it, it's not just about one side. I said that at the beginning. Um, I truly mean that. You know, I, I want the whole city to be able to get some shine. And, and we plan on bringing that kind of atmosphere and attitude over here. Um, Kilo, let, let them know a little bit bit of something about you, bro. For sure. Um, all right. So I go by Kilo, but you may have met me a long time ago. Um, people know my, my name. My, I go by Maurice in, in most circles. Um, but Kilo is is the brand, is the the thing I'm doing. Um, have been doing for a long time. Um, when I was super young on the scene, I was rapping. Rap name, stage name was Demonized Kilo. Now it's just Kilo because marketing, of course. Um, but um, at this point, I don't really make too much music. I work on music for people. Um, I moonlight engineering, uh, photography, videography, consulting as far as people trying to get their social media game up and their presence up and their marketing up. Um, also, I'm a writer uh, and I've edited a couple of little blogs here and there. Uh, I've been doing this shit my entire life. Um, what got me into music was just, I was always, it was always in my family. Um, my older cousin, uh, Pete, you can hear his music every time you listen to a uh, shop top podcast. The first record that plays every single time that they come in is an old record from when I was in middle school. And I've always been that guy who's like, take a second, listen to this is local artists, this local artists, that um, in terms of, you know, the, the greater knowledge of how it is that we get that word of mouth out back then. I'm from that era. I'm from the era of CDs in the trunk. You know what I'm saying? The blog era was something that was, as I was becoming a young man that came in and kind of influenced me a little bit more. But I remember riding around, passing out CDs, passing out flyers. Um, I know how hard it is and I know how difficult <coughs> it is to break through when it was just the analog, just the real world you had interacting and just kind of having all of that within me, it makes it so much easier for me to transition to the digital age and keep that spirit alive. Um, and that's what I try to do in everything that I actually put out. Everything that I touch is to honor that era and keep that energy and spirit alive, even as we move to new tools, whether it be podcasts, whether it be, um, you know, micro blogging in terms of Twitter and things of that nature. Uh, hit, hit me up. We can talk. We can shoot the shit. It is what it is. That's what's up. Thank you, brother, for uh, giving us a little little brief insight into you. You'll get to know everybody here a lot more as we go on. Um, shout out to uh, DJ Butter, that painting in the back of myself. That's that's one of his creations. So I, I got to show mad love to him for uh, put me in the art mix. I Kilo, I need you. Kilo, I need you to get my OnlyFans popping, bro. <laughs> <laughs> Hey, yo, yo, quiet as kept. Yo, Patreon is the respectable OnlyFans. I have a Patreon. All I do is post on there is like unreleased music, um, like clips and stuff like that. It's ways of getting it monetizing. Hit me up. That's whatever. See, Not, see, I can't help you with OnlyFans content though. They ain't, that's, they ain't, uh... <laughs> that's game, y'all. Y'all better holler at that man. All right, check it out. We about to keep it moving. Uh, we got my man Commission. What Commission. Up? Um, I think we I got you starting off. Is it Marino? Uh, yeah, we can kick it off with Marino. He's a brand new artist uh, to the Detroit scene. I mean, he's been making music I know for some time, I believe. Uh, but he's he's really uh kind of kicking things off this year. Uh, with with you know Marino kind of being the brand, and he uh he did so with a, a maxi single. So two different songs. Um, and he paired up with uh, somebody that I know well and that I, I respect a lot as an artist and a producer. Uh, JR got the hits. Um, and, and they put out two songs, January 13th uh, and Price Tags. Um, you know, they got a, a, a nice, powerful little message behind them. These ones are, you know, about the future of the price of heaven on earth and uh, the visions of the future, you know, respectively, is, you know, the way Marino himself kind of explains these. But I, I was vibing with both records um, and he's got a lot more to come. He's working on a, an EP called uh, The Book of Lazarus. Um, and I know he's pairing up with uh, JR Got the Hits uh, on a lot of music. So I'm looking forward to seeing uh, what he brings to the table in 2023. 
want my blessings and raffles. Proud for my vision, hazy. I'm drunk as fucking a jackal. This who been fighting battles, jealous and hella bashful. Corinthians was a hassle. I tasked with Satan lasso. Losing kiss in my asshole. Delusions had us in shackles. So rulers back in the battle. I'm breaking into the castle while we stand. We bounce with it, smoking on the house. Ah, we got clipped. All right, that's uh, this. Hey, uh, I've been scratching stuff. the surface. Yeah. So I texted back and I said, uh, well, I'm gonna die with this shit. Just tell me what I gotta do. Tell me what I gotta kill. Tell me what's in the way. Show me the options. We're jumping over. We can't turn the city that can't go back down. We made everything right. we needed to, man. There's nothing I won't do. We up. Call my nigga Jerry, we going through all the lines And speaking of real shit, we going through all the time Hit some G shit, going out through my Alright, that sound like it's some heat on there, bro Yeah, for sure, and I know you can uh, check them out at uh, MarinoMusic.net if you want to hear more It's on Spotify and, and stuff uh, It's M-O-R-E-N-O Music.net If anyone wants to check out more in depth on him All right, let's go on. We got a yeah. uh, uh, we got, got a throwback it. here. Uh, so this came out earlier uh, in 2022. Uh, it's May of 2022. It's part of uh, Chaos. He also goes, you know, by Whisper, aka Whisper. Um, and this is the sixth installment in a mixtape series he's been doing. It's over, you know, a mixture of some, you know, original beats and uh, some of the beats that were popular at the time. But uh, yeah, we can check it out. Let's go into it. I was I was vibing with what what he had on there. I'm supposed to be better than that. Better than what? That's best me not giving a fuck. I ain't with the guessing games. I guess she used to fuck the lanes. What about me? Made this one decide to switch up lanes. Time to shift priorities. Sleep. She keep asking for more of me. Pete. She don't like nonchalance. I ain't down to switch rocks for her box. So now we don't speak. And this is typical behavior. I'm down to help, but I ain't here to save you. I'm the type to go home. Get the fuck on, shouty. Ringing my phone like she ain't got goals. She looking for dick, feeling alone. None of that is my problem. I'm trying to work on these songs. Some mistake my distance for fakeness. To each his own, I'd rather exude my greatness. Why well, seek thongs? But y'all like junk in y'all homes. I'ma use the space to practice walking out on hoes. I'll be putting myself first. Just like I tell everybody, know your worth. Never mind, she fine. Fuck wasting time. Be prepared, the truth can hurt. There's plenty of fish in the sea. It's seven of them. I grew up off of the river. Tilted brim, west side till I die. Believe that. As long as I'm alive, I'ma make the cheese and love self, cause self love is needed. I gotta show you how you treat me. All right, there we go. Shout out, Whisper. Was that one of them tracks that went viral? Like, what? That beat, yeah. yeah, I remember yeah, that. The beat, beat was a part of one of the um, <clears throat> wasn't like that the, like uh, silhouette, a challenge. silhouette challenge or silhouette something challenge, like yeah. that? That's that's where that beat comes from. It's from uh, I, I think it's a Doja like, Cat song, I, yeah. I know that. I'm like, wait a minute, oh. yeah, yeah, because he yeah. went, I know he did one of the tracks on there too, was over uh, My Beautiful Dark Twisted Fantasy. He did, a, he it was a mixture of uh, some of the beats that were uh, on at the time. All right, well, yeah, y'all go check out his project on the site. Um, what we got next? Who Who is your third one? Il- uh He had the No Sauce Pan Tuesdays, the beat tape. Um, this was right out the gate for 2023. This was one of the first projects that I uh, really had a chance to dive in depth and, and, and get a few listens uh, through. And uh, I've gotten quite a few even since then. Um, but uh, a lot of people may know him from, you know, being part of Clear Soul Forces. 
you know, not only is he a talented producer, but he's a talented MC too. Uh, on this occasion, though, we're we're getting treated to his production, um, and you know, front to back, um, I, I was just really, really digging this one. Um, yeah. Some of my favorite records are cuts from it. You know, right off the bat, track two, um, "Lay You Down Easy," um, but then probably my favorite. Uh, there was a, a a track on there um, called "Indian" or "Indian Some Our Love." Uh, and it, it kind of sounded like a Mario game, honestly, like a jazzy Mario game that you're going through, like a jazzy nightclub. Uh, it, it, it really caught my ear, and I, I replayed that one quite a bit. Um, but the whole thing is worth cooking, taking it, taking it in. I had a chance to, you know, reach out to him and kind of get his input on the album um, and his inspiration. And uh, you know, he said, you know, the inspiration is coming from how he views his home studio, like his his own area, you know, he views it as a kitchen sometimes and he's in there cooking up. And if you see the cover art um, on it, you, you can kind of visualize what he means by that. Um, but yeah, yeah, let's get into it. It's it, some really good stuff. Word, thank you. Commission. Shout out to Elijah Day, man. Elijah Day is like one of the illest. You know what oh, I'm yeah. saying? Like, Definitely for me, a top tier yeah. producer in the city. Um, you, ever see him, you ever see him perform a beat set live, man? He goes crazy. Like, energy is crazy. You know, shout out to Elijah Day, man. 100%. Oh, yeah, I'll be listening definitely. to this all year long, I feel like. <laughs> Oh, yeah. yeah, I'm looking that, forward to that. him breathing uh, "Breathe Easy" back. He does a um, he does a party, I think, like in his backyard periodically, yeah. and uh, he does beat sets. He raps, brings up other people to do beat sets and rap. It's fucking crazy. I can't wait for the summer. Yeah, that's a that's a talented brother, man. He definitely uh, the last beat battle I did, the Dilla Day beat battle. Um, he took home the home prize for that. So uh, definitely <sighs> shout out to him, man. I love it, but at the same time, you know who I wanted to win. <laughs> right, 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 right. Yeah, we know, we know, brother. It, that I mean, but that was a classic, classic ending, man. That that it, it was, it was dope. It was dope. I look forward to seeing more of that. All right, um, Kilo, I didn't get to uh, get get what you was gonna cover before um, we started tonight, so. What you got for us? Oh, cool. Um, I mean, mainly just, you know, the thing, the events coming up and things of that nature. Um, namely, tomorrow is Rap Camp 2, in a sense. Um, it's a monthly event I do out at Order Supply in association with um, Hyped Up Hip Hop, which is uh, T-Money Green's brand of uh, how he does his live shows. And it's usually streamed live. Um, I'm going to have some amazing acts out there. Uh, I'm trying to get a lot of day on one of these coming up. Ironically, um, I'm in the talks with him right now to do that. Uh, but yeah, no, it's a good time. It's just a um, it's a curated showcase as far as like the main acts. But then I allow people to do submissions as far as their performance level and kind of see where they're at and put them on stage with other people that are like in terms of their energy and like in terms of at the level of performance I expect for this particular thing. Um, I try to bring on only, you know, very 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 polished um acts just to kind of build together in that room and get everything that's necessary as far as uh you know some exposure on a on a real stage with 
you know, real fans in the crowd that are really there for the right reasons. Um, Young and Destin is an incredible performer. Um, Tori Gray is an incredible performer and uh, beat maker and poet. Um, I haven't got a chance to work with uh, Sarge too much. That's a uh, band that I have pulling up. Um, Jazar is an amazing R&B artist. Um, she's already killing it everywhere. Ask about Jazar. Um, the camp is actually my group of people that I work with on a consistent basis, which is like Axel and um, my brother John and technically Crimson Alchemist uh, whenever she decides to come back home. Uh, <laughs> You know what I'm saying? So the camp is like the elite group of like lyricists and performers that I've been working with for a long time. Um, and it's kind of like a resident thing where people are going to periodically do a set or work out some new stuff in addition to all the special guests that come with us. Um, and then I got, of course, at the top of the bill, Microphone Phelps. I got D Hall the Queen. I got Mike Jack. These are some of the best performers, best voices, best ability to just actually make the music that connects and, and hits people when it's live because there's such amazing uh, rappers and artists and producers and they all, they do it all. Um, and as I order supply, I do that every single month, every last Wednesday of every month is going to be um, a new rap camp iteration with new guests. Um, of course, the core artists of camp uh, artists that are in there as well as beat makers, whether it be Ant Bell, who's a, an astonishing uh, level of talent um, who works with, you know, semi six and all the like heavy duty hip hop, hip hop head, um, artists that we have in the scene today. Um, one of the very best in my opinion. Uh, and that's not just cause he's a homie. He's literally just that damn good. And anybody can tell you that. Um, but yeah, that's pretty much it. Uh, come out tomorrow. If y'all, if y'all, you know, if y'all find the time, uh, it's $10 if you get it online today and I think it goes up a little bit tomorrow, but yeah, we don't we don't ask for much. This is gonna be a, a good vibe and a, a chill a chill moment. Just tell them where Otis Supply is. Oh yeah, Otis Supply is in Ferndale, um, just off Woodward on Nine Mile. It's like across from Ferndale City Hall, so it's plenty of parking over there. Um, it's parking in a lot. The earlier you get there, the better. Um, especially with the you know inclement weather, but it shouldn't be too bad. Allegedly, somewhere between three and five inches. We'll see. Um, and it should all it should all be done before the show even really like starts up. So, come on out, man! I remember them days of doing shows in the winter and <clears throat> hoping the weather permits and all that, man. Hey, yeah. that's the D for you. The wild part is we, this is supposed to be every last Thursday. It just moved to every last Wednesday because we had to renegotiate some stuff with the venue. Um, and it just so happened the first one we just get whopped. Like, <laughs> right, bad luck. Right. What can I say? <laughs> right. Right, right. By the way, Destroyer will be vending. Um, will be vending at the event as well. So if you want to come out and get some exclusive Destroyer merch, you see Pat in it. Um, he's gonna be down there getting some stuff off. Uh, yeah, pop out, pop out. Yeah. Um, hint, I I need some merch. I, I, <laughs> I need some merch to rock down here in Atlanta, people. Yeah, I'm down here in the A representing for Detroit rap. I got it on the license plate. So yeah, everybody pull up. Like, who's in the car? <laughs> who's, in, who's in the car right yeah. all right all right next show who we got we got hush and bobby j from rockaway yeah we got uh the you know the 313 pairing up with uh new york city uh with a 718 uh they just put out a, an entire album together which i mean was heat from front to back i i it was one that i definitely had in heavy rotation so it's dope to get them in the same spot in the same area doing a show together um they're bringing uh, you know, two amazing uh, talented artists along with them uh, with Quest McCody and Isaac Caster. Isaac's got his new album coming out uh, really shortly here at the beginning of February, uh, Rabbit Hole uh, 2. Uh, so I'm excited for that. Um, but yeah, doors are at nine. Uh, it's only five dollars to get in. Got the legendary DJ Heavy is going to be, uh, um, you know, a DJ in the event. Uh, so it's definitely a, a lot of uh, great hip hop for the evening in store for, you know, extremely talented artists. It's at the old Miami, uh, you know, and, and Cass Avenue, uh, you know, in Detroit downtown. Um, but yeah, I'm, I'm definitely, uh, if you want a really great show, uh, these, these four are going to give it to you. Um, you know, Hush has been a long time mainstay, you know, you know, mid nineties and the nineties, he was dropping. He he's been around for a long, long time. Uh, you know, he was part of the, you know, 
uh, a legendary group, the legendary group back in the day. So, um, yeah, no, check it the out. Ruckus. Shout out to my man, Uncle yeah. Eel. Yes. <clears throat> man, you, you know what stands out to me about this? What's that? Five dollar cover. Yeah. That's a deal. Where in where in the two thousands can you still see see some hip hop for five dollars? That's oh my, that's, that's amazing. Yeah, that's, oh Miami, pretty right, much. right. Hip-hop. That's, quality hip hop at that. That's amazing, right there. Um, Pat, bro, is forgive me, but is is our is your show on the site? Uh, yep. Where is it? Towards the front. I think so. Is that what we're talking about right now? Um, yeah, that was the uh, show that you had to speak on, right? Okay, yep. Um, local MC, Detroit MC, Isaac Caster has a new album coming out, Rabbit Hole 2, uh, fully produced by Foulmouth, uh, Middle Finger Music. That's obviously who I'm with, uh, represent. Um, we got a release party February 4th at Old Miami. Um, Talk uh, slower so I can find it. <laughs> <laughs> That edible ain't kicked in enough, bro. <laughs> yeah, no, it's kicking my ass, man. Um, hey, oh, oh, you uh, you thugging it out for us, huh? Yep. Kilo gonna be like, dang, wasn't you on an edible the last time we was? <laughs> man, look, <laughs> like, I don't bro, ask that questions. All you do all day. <laughs> it's all good. I know Pat. I know Pat well enough. <laughs> <laughs> you find it? Oh, yeah. Like, okay, I found it, man. Like, okay. hey, hold up. When was our first day? When did we relaunch? January, uh, January what? January something. First, it was, third. No, no, it wasn't it was, the first. It was seventh. Eleventh or seventh? Seventh. <laughs> man, we got a lot of damn content yeah, on yeah, here. We, yeah, already, we already man. six, seven pages. We had to make up for a lot of lost time. Yeah. Yeah. We we got a lot of content. All right, all right, you can proceed. I finally found it, Pat. Yeah, so Rabbit Hole 2 uh drops February 3rd. Um Release party February fourth, old Miami. We got stack lineup. We got uh, Boog Brown. Um, we got novelist and hero. Uh, we got Fat Father, or Fit Father. Shout out to shout out to my brother Fit Fat Father for sure, man. For real. Dango Four Lane, um, Two Door Coop, who's Catchphrase, Catch P, and Gypsy. Um, Sam, be yourself, Ronnie Alpha. Um, my little brother, Simple Cuts on the ones and twos. Um, it's gonna be crazy, man. Come on out. Yo, yo, us yo, in the yo. chat right now, I see Simple Cuts in there. What up, Simple Cuts? Oh yeah, what up though? Ooh. Hey, what up though, everybody in the chat? Um, I squad, y'all gonna have to help manage the chat. I can't. Um, I don't even do see that, the chat, man. man. I'm yeah, like, I see, I we got Leaf Erickson in there. What up? What up, man? In there. <laughs> Leaf Erickson shared Will in Black. the uh, in the rap camp group. There's a rap camp Facebook group that I have where that's kind of where it all started as far as like because I created rap camp to be like a um. I can exchange so that people can who need beats can go here and they know the producers are there. They're selling beats and people that are looking for talent. They know the talent's going to be there because I already curated. And if you're looking to, <clears throat> you know, trade gear and shit like that, that's what I created it for originally. Um, and yeah, that's 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 an important component of community and all of this. So I was already forward thinking. So we already kind of got that that crop of people. Dope. Dope. That's what's up. Hey, y'all, uh, we, we about to get wrapped up, but I'm, I'm going to go ahead and kick in my couple. Um, something that, that popped off in the last 10 days, something that was real big. Um, if anybody knows anything about the Detroit hip hop music scene, they definitely know about stretch money and you definitely should know about valid as well. Well, these two brothers just stepped out and did something very different from the both of them. And and I like to say they made a, a global hit right now with this record. They got sentimental, um, dropped 10 days, um, stretch went online and, and made a post that said, you know, this was the first time that another record actually knocked out his, uh, take money to make money record as his most spun um joint so that that was big man because that that takes money to make money um gets played daily like that that's that's, a classic record that gets played everywhere yeah yeah Yeah, that's that's classic and and not just in the hip-hop scene 
the ballroom scene as well. Like oh yeah, most that, definitely that that record crossed so many um so many genres with that, and the sentimental hit. You know, it it might not necessarily be for that the street crowd. You know that Detroit has right now, but when I talk about global music, this this what I'm talking about right here. Um, we've been having some problems with Spotify sounding good, so if it doesn't, forgive me. Go on your favorite music platform and, and check this record out. But so sentimental I used to dream of it Waited so very long Alright, I don't think this snippet is going to get us to the uh, to the actual verse So I'm going to go ahead and cut it there I hate that I had to do that If I had been better prepared, I probably had a another place to pay it, play it from but um that's, the first that's episode. neither here nor there what was that it's the first episode we got some kinks to work out yeah, yeah we, we'll we got some kinks to work back. out but um i i think we doing all right for this first one you know oh, yeah. um it's it's yeah. off the hip uh oh, lastly yeah. i wanted to get into something that just dropped over the weekend um my man's in them dane black and project logic drop that pardon me if you feel away and um i i really enjoyed the record um i enjoy both of them mcs and actually as different as they are um they play good you know back and forth on on this album uh the single the first one shout out to true to truth he got the uh video off of it exhale which is uh one of them joints on there that's banging i i thought it was a a dope project with production by aaron green um uh street gang uh what is it peter peter oh damn man i i hate messing up people's names um who was that who was that um dang shout out to i'm only moot that's on there too um man where is it peter producer that's what it is um shout out to big will legacy studios and keith bubby webb that handle recording most of it for this with frank J. um big legacy legacy studios a shout out to uh big will producer um left us a couple years ago um definitely a a staple in the pontiac music scene i'm gonna play a little bit of this charades record I believe. Let's see. We were like, yeah. okay, children posing. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, yeah, playing a game. Yeah. Okay. Acting yeah. out the yeah. Okay. Yeah. Guess right, who the parts yeah. we play? Yeah. Let's go. Yo, yo, uh, the cross country marathon with my inner demons. We on turns where we not speaking. Growth's the process, the projects at my spirit weaken. I was front row at the church for some type of healing. So tell me now if you love me, if you don't, I won't judge you for it. Watching me win feels euphoric for my real supporters. I won't scare you with all of the horrors. Just know that third eye horse ain't do nothing for us. Yeah, oh, niggas numb, I'm going dumb to restore baby. the feeling You don't even trap, but you trap rap, how was that appealing? Want to cop moms a crib off this music business Sick, I couldn't get it, I literally tried to penicillin Can't rush the process of your growth season Couple niggas dang with a shot if I wouldn't the voice of reason You act tough around weak niggas, it's all gimmicks I can see through when the fraud image, God did it archery, We were like children posing yeah, yeah. So that was that uh, Dane Black and Project Logic. Pardon me if you feel away. Shout out Yak Town. Shout out Dane Black. That that beat selection on that project and, and everything oh, yeah. they've been out, it's just been another level. <laughs> I haven't got a chance to listen to it yet, but um, I know if Street Gang is on it, they probably knocked the shit out the park. Um, shout out to Street Gang. Shout out to uh, you know, Josh and uh, Chris. Like they're amazing. What as far as uh production goes, and you know anybody who's cognizant enough to go and get something from them probably is is, is going to do something crazy with it. 
Right. Exactly. Exactly. Um, also, um, some classic records is, that drop. I'll call them classics. Um, one for me was uh, Bodie James' new project. I'm not sure on any updates on him health wise, but I hope the brother um, is getting better. Um, he he released uh, Indiana Jones. That's a it's it's dope, man. Bodie, yeah, so, he's yeah. underrated, man. But he ain't going anywhere. And one day, you know, the industry really gonna get that man his flowers, bro, because he he's a phenomenal MC. Absolutely, <clears throat> most definitely. He's part of the reason I posted up the uh, the old Richie Marciano uh, record. You know what I'm saying? That was classic Bodie, as far as you know. Rapping, just the cadence, just the charisma, everything. The shit I remember when I was 17 trying to get on the scene and seeing Boldy and seeing all of those guys. And he's so consistent, too. I mean, it's, you know, project after project and, you know, working with producers like The Alchemist and, you know, just oh, yeah. nonstop heat. He's a chameleon. Like, I haven't heard him on a, on a beat that he couldn't do something, you know, uniquely him with. Right, I mean, he he's gonna bring Bodie to whatever you put in front of him. Um, Pat, I know you checked out um that Chav album. Oh yeah, that Chav Chandler. Um, I think that's very thank God. Um, incredible man. Um, it's dedicated to his late sister. Um, it's his first time, you know, rapping since he left, and you could hear the passion, you could hear the pain. I was going through the pain. You know what I'm saying? Um, I mean, I've always been a fan of Chavez since he came out, but like when I listened to that album, it hit different. You know what I'm saying? So, and uh, Bo 404 did a great job on the production, man. It was like the perfect beat selection for him. And uh, man, he's singing and rapping his ass off, bro. Go check that out. Oh, yeah, shout out That's Chavez. He's also one of those people from like my era who's like my age who I got to see come up when I was doing it. And uh, shout out to him also uh, giving my homie PDK a verse um, on a new record he just dropped yesterday, um, PDK and Chavez, um, for Mosh Pit Mondays. Shout out Mosh Pit Gang. Um, but yeah, Chavez has always been a phenomenal talent. Some of the things that have gotten in his way, you know what I'm saying, I'm, I'm hoping he's worked out. I'm hoping that especially as he ages and comes into, you know, the certain wisdom that comes with that and love and loss and the things that come with it. And that's what I'm hearing. You know what I'm saying? That's where I want him to be. And I want him to be in a good place mentally and a good place physically. Uh, it's not ever going to be a situation where I'm going to wish ill on anybody from the crib. You know what I'm saying? And I, I'm happy he's still here. Happy that he's still doing it. Absolutely. Shout out to Charles. Word, word. All right, y'all. We we right about at that hour mark, man. That's that's what um I really didn't know if I wanted to see us go. Um, beyond that, I wasn't trying to just talk about all kinds of everything. We definitely gonna make sure when y'all we got a hold of y'all time that we um take care of it wisely. So we're gonna have some other um productions coming out this camp. You know, everybody here has their own thing that we doing in here at DetroitRap.com. We definitely support our people. So um for me, you got the These Are the Breaks podcast um coming out real soon sooner than later i know a lot of people been asking me what that's about i'll just briefly let you know um uncle p is is over 50 now and um i'm a dj for life but being in them clubs at two in the morning just ain't hitting it like it used to for a brother so i wanted to make sure that i can still do what i do and that's break records and make sure that you up on the hottest artists hardest um songs you know, closing lines, people, producers in general. And these are the break podcasts is my extension of being a DJ and breaking and announcing new talent. So y'all make sure y'all look out for that coming soon. Um, I like to thank the squad commission, Pat 313, Kilo, everybody on the team is doing great things on their own. And when we come together, it's like Voltron, we um we about to really do some things. Um, look for some events with performance opportunities coming real soon. Um, beat battles, everything. You got suggestions? Hit us up, man. Uh, if you go back to the replay, it'll be available on Detroit Rap. Um, Joe Commission has let us know how to submit, so please look on the site 
It's right there, right by featured. You look to the right of it, you'll see submit content. It'll come to all of our emails. And then if you have a special relationship with any one of us, of course, use your connections because that's what all this is about, making connections and networking. I'm going to stop with all this boring um, talk and educational process of things, and, and we're going to step on out of here. I thank everybody that watched us and that's going to watch us. Squad, y'all got any last words to say before we get out of here? Uh, shit, y'all be safe. Uh, don't break your back trying to shovel tomorrow. <laughs> y'all be, yo, yes. be safe, be careful. Um, and if you can, pop out for yeah. rap camp. Let's go. <laughs> yeah. Thank you for watching. Thank everybody. Everybody. Thank you for watching. Thank you for watching. Peace. Peace. Hey, we appreciate Peace. you. Shout out to the rap camp group in the chat. Shout out to all of y'all. Guess in the party yo, play. Yo, let's go. Yo, yo. Uh, the cross country marathon with my inner demons. We on terms where we not speaking. Growth's the process, the projects at my spirit weaken. I was front row at the church for some type of healing. So tell me now if you love me. If you don't, I won't judge you for it. Watching me win feels you for for my real supporters. I won't scare you with all of the horrors. Just know that third eye horse ain't do nothing for us. Yeah, niggas numb, I'm going dumb to restore the feeling You don't need trap, but you trap rap, how was that appealing? Want to cop moms a crib off this music business Sick, I couldn't get it, I literally tried to penicillin Can't rush the process of your growth season Couple niggas dame with a shot if I wouldn't have voiced a reason You act tough around weak niggas, it's all gimmicks I can see through the fraud in me, the Lord did it We were like children posing Playing the games, acting out lay. Okay. I see. Guessing the parts we play. Yeah. These niggas talking like they really that. I ain't fabricating shit. I really so crack. I had to get it out the mud. I did it for the fam. You ain't never hand to hand. You a fucking stand. Better yet, a fucking fan. Trying to imitate niggas like me.